Hi, this is Allison at the River Center Branch Library, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make yarn pumpkins. If you picked up a kit from the River Center Branch Library, you should have a set of instructions, 16 pieces of pre-cut yarn, one piece of green yarn, one balloon, a brown pipe cleaner and a green pipe cleaner, a container of glue, a square of wax paper, a plastic fork, and one strip of tape. You will also need scissors, a pencil or a pen, and paper towels as well as a sink for cleaning up. The first thing you're going to do is inflate your balloon to slightly larger than palm size. Tie a knot at the in the balloon. And you're going to attach the green piece of yarn and tie it on to the knot in the balloon. Next, you're going to use your piece of tape to secure the, uh, the green yarn to something so that you can work on your balloon while it's hanging over the piece of wax paper. So find an area in your house that you can tape this yarn onto so that it can hang over your workspace. I'm using a cabinet and I've got my piece of wax paper set up underneath the balloon. Now we're going to attach the yarn to the balloon, one piece at a time. So pull one piece of orange yarn out and first we're going to soak it in the glue. Make sure you have your paper towels on hand in case it gets messy. So you can use your fork to push the, the yarn into the glue and get it fully saturated. Then take the yarn out and as you're pulling it up, use the tines of the fork to drag the extra yarn off of the yarn, off the extra glue off the yarn. And then you're going to take your glue covered piece of yarn and wrap it around the balloon. Starting from the top and working your way down is one of the easier ways to do it and just start wrapping and you're going to eventually cover the whole piece, the whole balloon in different zigzag patterns. Now that we've run out of glue and covered most of the area of our balloon with yarn, it's time to let it dry. You may have some pieces of yarn that are hanging down, some end pieces. You can just tuck those down onto um, the balloon and let them dry. If they're still sticking up when it's dry, we'll, we'll trim them with the scissors. But for now, let's let it sit and dry for 24 hours. It's been 24 hours and our balloon is dry, or all of our yarn is now dry. So you can take it down and you'll use your fingers or the fork to separate the balloon from the yarn.
work your way around the entire balloon, making sure that most of the yarn is separated from the balloon. Then you're going to take your pair of scissors and deflate the balloon and carefully remove it. If there are any yarn flakes, I mean any glue flakes left over, you can peel these out by hand. Now we're going to make the vine and the stem of the pumpkin with the pipe cleaners. So you'll need your pencil and the pipe cleaners. Take your brown pipe cleaner and wrap it around the pencil in a tight coil. And then slide it off. This is going to be the stem. Now take your green pipe cleaner and wrap it around the pencil in a looser coil, and this is going to be the vine. And then you can slide that off. Now you're going to put these two together by wiggling the green pipe cleaner into one of the coils of the brown pipe cleaner. And you can twist it around to secure it. And now it's ready to be added to the pumpkin. So you will just loosen one of the bottom coils and find out which way your pumpkin sits the best and which way you want to be at the top or the bottom. And then you'll just slide the bottom coils into the, um, one of the pieces of yarn and then tighten it up so that the stem is securely attached and also twist it around a bit to make sure it's really on there. And then at this point, you may have some straggler pieces of yarn, so you can use your scissors to trim up any pieces that are sticking out, or you can weave them back under to try and get them to stay in there. There's a little piece sticking up, so I'm going to trim it off. Okay. And there is your Pump yarn pumpkin.